Towards the end of October, we hold our annual Pumpkin Festival in Keene, New Hampshire. This year's dates were Friday the 21st and Saturday the 22nd. At the first event, in 1991, a couple thousand people brought 600 jack-o'-lanterns downtown. Isn't this incredible? said Nancy Sporborg, the event organizer. I can't believe the number of people we've had here. Well, that was just the start. In 1992, we made the Guinness Book of World Records. We didn't have the heaviest pumpkin, but we had the most of them lit up in one place. After that, the event was off and running. 94, 20,000 people show up. 98, 17,693 jack-o'-lanterns. 1999, 50,000 people. 2003, approaching 30,000. And then, well, we'll get to that. Let's just say that collecting 30,000 gourds and triple your population in the downtown area can have its downside. So anyway, on Friday, a whole bunch of volunteers create the infrastructure. These guys are drilling holes in the backs of pumpkins and wiring them up for Christmas lights. There are four towers like this one at Railroad Square, and they're laid out kind of like a medieval cathedral. The nave runs from Central Square down to around Water Street, and the transept cuts across from Gilbo Ave over to Railroad Square. I wasn't sure if these electric lights were kosher. They used to use candles here, but I guess the record book just talks about lit jack-o'-lanterns, not candle-lit ones. Here's some critical infrastructure for a town of 23,000 expecting hordes of visitors. Pumpkins are being delivered to Central Square and assembled on shelves. For the ones that absolutely positively have to be there, FedEx. Every school kid carves a jack-o'-lantern. Tonight, a lot of them will be back with their families to check them out when they're all lit up. Here's the pumpkin brigade unloading a batch from another elementary school. On Saturday morning, things start to ramp up. Hey, Paul. Hello. Forty nine Emerald Street at the center of Key. Now we have the Monadnock Regional High School Band. The Monadnock Regional High School Band. Is this Gilbo Ave? <laughs>
So how'd we do? Let's recheck the numbers. They've trended mostly upward, but there's been some backsliding too. And after testing 30,000 in 03, we fell back again last year. On this rainy post-flood pumpkin festival, we're back to our 01 level, 22,000. And Boston, which only got into this game last year, beat us for the first time. But you know, the truth is, it was kind of nice to be able to walk around without the crush of shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder traffic like it's been some years. Pumpkin seed spinning contest is now starting. It's on... Having a lot fewer pumpkins to pick up and feed to the pigs isn't such a bad deal either. And then there's this. What kind of Google juice does the Boston Pumpkin Festival have? Thirteen hits? Give me a break. Let's check out Keen, see what we do. 20,800. I think we're doing just fine. 